hyperbole. We still want we know we still have a long way to go. It's no secret that the vaccination program was in much worse shape than my team and I anticipated. We were under the impression and been told that we had a lot more resources than we did when we came into office. We've only been here three weeks, but we've learned a great deal in those three weeks. While scientists did their job in discovering vaccines in record time, my predecessor, be very blunt about it, did not do his job in getting ready for the massive challenge of vaccinating hundreds of millions of Americans. He didn't order enough vaccines. He didn't mobilize enough people to administer the shots. He didn't set up a federal vaccine centers where eligible people could go and get their shots. When I became president three weeks ago, America had no plan to vaccinate most of the country. It's, it was a big mess. That's going to take time to fix, to be blunt with you. I promised when I did my inaugural address that I'll always be straight with you, give it to you straight from the shoulder. I will not walk away when we make a mistake. I'll acknowledge it and tell you the truth. We started on day one. We won't have everything fixed for a while, but we're going to fix it. First, the vaccine. I know people want confidence that it's safe. Well, listen to Dr. Fauci. I did. I got my shots. My wife, Jill, did. Kamala did. And her husband, Doug, did. So Dr. Fauci and Dr. Collins got it also. It's safe. And we need more people to get vaccinated to beat this pandemic. That's why in the first three weeks that I've been in office, we've increased the supply of weekly vaccine shipments to the states by almost 30 percent. That means millions more Americans will get vaccinated in February than the previous administration was on track to do. But that's just the start. We bought more vaccines. Two weeks ago, I directed Jeff Science, who's here with me, my COVID-19 response coordinator, to work with the Department of Health and Human Services to purchase more vaccines. Just this afternoon, we signed final contracts for 100 million more Moderna and 100 million more Pfizer vaccines. We're also able to move up the delivery dates with an additional 200 million vaccines to the end of July, faster than we expected. And in further good news, both companies agreed, and we're now contractually obligated, to, exp to, to expedite delivery of 100 million doses that were promised by the end of June to deliver them by the end of May. That's a month faster. That means lives will be saved. That means we're now on track to have enough supply for 300 million Americans by the end of July. It may not sound like the urgent progress we need, but let's be clear. When I took office just three weeks ago, this country did not have a plan or enough vaccines or people to vaccinate Americans, any, at all Americans, any time and any point in 2021. Within three